Hello and welcome to this video. We're taking a look today at QTrader. So we're going to take a look at some charting features within QTrader. So you can see I just have the regular home page set up here within QTrader. Uh, so the first thing that I want to do to get started with charting here is just select my chart. You see I have one open here. And then I'm going to maximize that just so we can see that a little bit better and start working with the charting features. Now you did notice here in our last video I mentioned, you know, as soon as you select one of the windows within QTrader, you get all the options for that specific window. So we have a lot of different options here as far as charting on our left hand side. We also have some options here, uh, of course, within our right mouse click menu. So we'll go through some of those as well. Uh, but you can see I just have a regular ES chart here uh, open and we happen to be looking at a daily time frame for now, but I'll show you how to change that. So uh, I have candlestick set up, but we actually have a few different options that we can use. So candlesticks here is an option and to switch to something like maybe a bar style here, you can just select that button. You see it switches over pretty quickly. You can also choose a line style here or some other options here, T-Flow or TT-Flow. Um, so definitely a lot of different options there for you to uh, change between those. So uh, I'm gonna use candlesticks for now, but you can see you have these uh, five different options available right on our toolbar. Now, since I'm just looking at regular candlesticks here, um, maybe I want to add in something like a study here. So we actually have some quick studies here on our toolbar as well. So things like Bollinger Bands. So if I were to select the Bollinger Bands button there, you'll see that those are added pretty quickly here onto our chart and I can view now the Bollinger Bands. I can also add uh, multiple studies, so I'm not limited to just that one study. So for example, the MACD, I'll add that. And you see that's in the bottom panel and I can adjust that here just by uh, uh, switching up the divider here up or down um, and of course I can scroll back through my chart just by um, you know holding down on the chart here we also have a few quick buttons here uh, on our toolbar so these are for uh, things like moving the chart up or down uh, for this button here you can see if I move it down uh, just a regular left click here it moves it down now if I right mouse click it moves it up so that's a pretty quick way to do that so no need for separate buttons I can just uh, either right mouse click or left mouse click to change that out so again uh, regular mouse click here left mouse click will adjust it down right mouse click will adjust it up uh, we can also compress or decompress so this first button just moves the chart up or down it doesn't actually change the size of the bars or the scaling of the bars but if I choose this next one here, you'll see that it will uh, expand the price scale. Or if we right mouse click, it will uh, compress that price scale. So another uh, handy feature there. You can see we have some other options here. So the same thing for uh, the horizontal scale. So we're just working with the vertical scale on those buttons. But uh, we can, uh, of course, uh, expand or uh, uh, compress here horizontally using the same kind of function. So just a left mouse click to expand right mouse click to compress here. So I'm gonna compress that up here a little bit. We can also uh, scroll that way as well. So if I wanted to uh, scroll back, I can just regular left mouse click. I can also uh, right mouse click to scroll back um, kind of towards our uh, uh, charts here so that's kind of how that works now you'll see if I scroll back far enough we're actually not seeing some of our um, price bars here we're only seeing uh, kind of some white space since we have it fixed now if at any time you kind of get your charts out of whack you can also always hit this uh, RESCL um, button here this is a rescale button so that automatically rescales it for us so we can see those pretty quickly uh, we don't have to uh, worry about um, having to do it manually every time we can just go ahead and uh, actually rescale that so that everything fits nicely you see now if I scroll back it will automatically scale those uh, as we scroll back uh, so remember that rescale button here is available for you and we also have the studies button so if I select that studies button you'll see that we can actually add in a lot more studies than are just within this uh, right tool or left hand toolbar so we do have a lot of different options um, uh, so you can kind of go through these you can even uh, uh, do custom studies and other options as well. Uh, so it's not limited to just that. You can also access another menu for studies if you right mouse click. So let me bring that here a little bit closer for you to see. We can uh, add, our study, uh, add a study or remove a study pretty quickly here. You can see we also have some quick keyboard commands. So control alt D or control alt shift D to, uh, just to make it a little bit faster. So if I wanted to add a study, I'll select add study and we actually have another a window that it will come up and it'll list some of the studies. So um, for example, maybe I wanna change uh, or add another study. We'll go ahead and actually add in a volume study here. See, I can apply it to uh, different things. So I don't have to, um, I can actually have it calculate on another indicator if I wanted to, not just the candlesticks. Since that's volume, I'm just gonna add that to my candlesticks here and you can see I have that uh, added to my chart. 
Now, if I wanted to remove one of those studies, I can just, uh, of course, click this remove studies and we can select ones that we want to remove. So maybe I want to remove the volume and I'll actually remove the MACD as well. We can leave the Bollinger Bands. Now you can also customize the studies a little bit for you. So we have the Bollinger Bands here, but maybe I want to change around the Bollinger Bands. Maybe I want to have it calculated a little bit differently. Um, so I can absolutely do that. So if I right mouse click, you'll also see that there's an option for modify all study parameters. So right mouse click, select modify all study parameters here. And we can actually adjust um, uh, the parameters here for the Bollinger Bands. And you can see you can even uh, adjust things like the candlestick colors. Um, we're gonna use the Bollinger Bands here and we're gonna just uh, adjust those. So maybe I wanna adjust the look back periods. This is how many bars it's looking back. Maybe I wanna bump it up to 21. You can also choose not only uh, to calculate off of close, but also other options. So open, high, low, uh, mid, or, or some other options here as well. So that just gives you uh, some flexibility as far as calculating. You can also adjust the standard deviation in this case. I'm gonna leave that uh, just fine. But what I want to do is also uh, adjust the display. So I selected that display option. So this is going to allow me to change things like the colors. So we see we have a moving average here. Maybe I want to change that moving average. Uh, I'm actually going to leave the moving average, but I'm going to adjust the Bollinger Bands high and low. So maybe I want to make those a green color here. Or uh, So we'll go ahead and add uh, green for both of these. You can also make them a little bit thicker here uh, if you wanted to. Now if I select apply, you'll see that those did change to green. The green happens to be um, just a little bit light there. So of course I can adjust here and change uh, through the different colors. We also don't have to use just those preset ones. We can go ahead and define custom colors. So maybe I wanna add in uh, something a little bit different here. We're not limited to just those colors. So maybe I'll go with uh, maybe like a darker green just so we can see it a little bit better. And what I'll do is I'm going to go ahead and select one of these quick options. But you can see how you can actually select uh, those other uh, kind of custom colors as well. So if I apply, now we can see that a little bit better. So we adjusted the, the colors there uh, for that. And you can, of course, remove uh, studies and things like that as well. So really a lot of uh, different options there as far as studies go. Now, uh, we are looking at just a regular E-mini S&P 500 daily chart. If I wanted to change that option, I can go to the Setup menu. So I'm gonna select Setup here, and I will select Chart Preferences. Um, if I go to the main tab here, so Preferences, I can actually adjust the symbol. I'm gonna leave the symbol for now, but you can see where you can adjust that. And we'll just adjust the time interval. So if I select time interval, I can go something intraday here, so maybe a five minute chart. I'll select Apply and then OK. And you can see I'm now viewing a five minute chart for the E-mini S&P 500. So there's a lot of different options for charting within uh, QTrader here. You can see you can change things like studies, modify them, add them pretty quickly. Uh, scaling options are pretty quick as well within here with these quick buttons. And also it's easy to change between those instruments and time frames. If you do have any questions about charting within QTrader, please feel free to let us know uh, by giving us a call or visiting our website at www.optimusfutures.com dot com.